dear students in this video you are going to learn about trigonometric ratios consider a right triangle abc which is right angled at b and the remaining angles are a and c so ac is called hypotenuse which is the side opposite to right angle so ac is the hypotenuse now take any one angle angle a or angle c now with respect to angle a bc is the opposite side and ab is the adjacent side with respect to angle a bc is the opposite side of angle a and ab is the adjacent side of angle a now write the ratio of the sides we can write opposite by hypotenuse adjacent by hypotenuse opposite by adjacent and after that write the reciprocals hypotenuse by opposite then hypotenuse by adjacent then adjacent by opposite so this many ra ratios we can write in this right triangle we can write six ratios now in trigonometry each ratio has given a special name the ratio of opposite by hypotenuse is called sin of angle a that is abbreviated as sin a short form is sin a now in the figure opposite side is bc hypotenuse is ac so opposite by hypotenuse is equal to bc by ac now the ratio adjacent by hypotenuse is given a name cosine of angle a abbreviated as cos a in the figure adjacent is ab hypotenuse is ac so adjacent by hypotenuse is equal to ab by ac and the ratio opposite by adjacent is given a name tangent of angle a short form is tan a in the figure opposite side is bc adjacent side is ab so opposite by adjacent is equal to bc by ab now the remaining ratios are the reciprocals hypotenuse by opposite is called cosecant of angle a short form is cosec a that is bc sorry ac by bc hypotenuse by opposite ac by bc now the ratio hypotenuse by adjacent is called secant of angle a short form is sec a hypotenuse is ac adjacent side is ab so ac by ab now the ratio adjacent by opposite is called cotangent of angle a short form is cot a that is ab by bc these are called trigonometric ratios we have six trigonometric ratios sin a cos a and tan a and cosec a sec a and cot a these are important trigonometric ratios now observe the ratios cosec a is the reciprocal of sin a so cosec a can be written as 1 by sin a or sin a is equal to 1 by cosec a and sec a is the reciprocal of cos a so sec a can be written as 1 by cos a or cos a is equal to 1 by sec a cot a is the reciprocal of tan a that implies cot a can be written as 1 by tan a or tan a can be written as 1 by cot a remember these reciprocals cosec a is reciprocal of sin a sec a is reciprocal of cos a cot a is reciprocal of tan a now divide sin a by cos a sin a is bc by ac cos a is ab by ac so bc by ac divided by ab by ac is equal to bc by ab 
AC, AC cancels out. Now BC by AB is opposite by adjacent is called tan E. That implies tan E is equal to sin E by cos E. Now divide cos A by sin E. That is AB by AC divided by BC by AC. That is AB by BC. AC, AC cancels out. AB by BC adjacent by opposite is called cot A. So cot A is equal to cos A by sin E. These are very important formulas of trigonometry. Cosic A is equal to 1 by sin A or sin A is equal to 1 by cosic A. CK is equal to 1 by cos A or cos A is equal to 1 by CK. Cot A is equal to 1 by tan A or tan A is equal to 1 by cot A. Tan A is equal to sin A by cos A and cot A is equal to cos A by sin A. These are very important formulas you have to remember. Now consider a right triangle ABC. Now AC is the hypotenuse. Now consider angle C. Now consider angle C. Now with respect to angle C, AB is the opposite side of angle C. BC is the adjacent side. Now write sin C. Formula for sin C is opposite by hypotenuse. Opposite side is AB. Hypotenuse is AC. So AB by AC. And cos C formula is adjacent by hypotenuse that is BC by AC. Tan C is equal to opposite by adjacent that is AB by BC. And cosic C is the reciprocal of sin C that is hypotenuse by opposite is equal to AC by AB. Sec C is reciprocal of cos C that is hypotenuse by adjacent that is AC by BC. Cot C is reciprocal of tan C that is adjacent by opposite is equal to BC by AB. So here you have to remember first three trigonometric ratios and remaining three are the reciprocals. You have to remember sin C, cos C and tan C. Then cosic C, sec C and cot C are reciprocals of sin C, cos C and tan C respectively. Now consider a right triangle ABC. Now mark a point D on hypotenuse AC. Now draw perpendicular from D to BC. D is perpendicular from D on BC. Now here triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEC according to AA criteria. If two triangles are similar then their corresponding sides are in proportion that is CE by CB is equal to CD by CA is equal to DE by AB. Now consider first two ratios that is CE by CB is equal to CD by CA. If you cross multiply and rearrange this we can write this ratio as CE by CD is equal to CB by CA. Now see there CE by CD. If you consider angle C, the ratio CE by CD, CE is the adjacent side, CD is the hypotenuse of triangle DEC with respect to angle C. With respect to angle C, I am saying C is the adjacent side, CD is the hypotenuse. And CB is the adjacent side, C is the hypotenuse of triangle ABC. So adjacent side by hypotenuse is called cos C. Now we are considering angle C. So CE by CD is equal to CB by CA is equal to cos C. Similarly consider second and third ratio DE by AB is equal to CD by CA. 
we can write it as d e by c d is equal to a b by c a. Now d e by c d that is opposite by hypotenuse and a b by c a that is opposite by hypotenuse with respect to angle c is called opposite by hypotenuse is called sin c sin of angle here we considered angle c so sin c now consider first and third c by c b is equal to d e by a b we can write it as d e by c e is equal to a b by c b now observe the figure d e by c e that is opposite by adjacent is equal to a b by c b opposite by adjacent opposite by adjacent is called tan of angle here tan of angle c that is tan c so triangle dec and triangle abc are two different triangles but here one angle is same that is angle c is same for triangle dec and triangle abc but the length of the sides are different remember the values of trigonometric ratios of an angle do not vary with the length of the sides of the triangle if the angle remains the same if the angle remains the same then trigonometric ratios of that angle is equal whether the triangle is bigger or smaller trigonometric ratios remain same trigonometric ratios does not depend on length of the sides it depend on angle and remember one more point since hypotenuse is the longest side of right triangle the value of sin a or cos a is always less than 1 or in particular equal to 1 hypotenuse is the longest side so value of sin a and cos a always less than 1 or equal to 1 because sin a is equal to opposite by hypotenuse cos a is adjacent by hypotenuse so sin a will always less than or equal to 1 and cos a also always less than or equal to 1 remember one more point for the sake of convenience we may write sin a whole square is equal to sin square a sin square a means square of sin a if you want to find sin square a we have to square sin a and cos square a is equal to square of cos a and it goes on tan square a is equal to square of tan a etc the meaning of sin square a is square of sin a cos square a is square of cos a